Hi guys, it's Jill Summers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full face of Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is one of my favorite brands, not only because it is drugstore and very affordable, but because their products are just amazing. So I did try out one of their foundations. You guys probably saw this video already, but it's on their Dewy foundation and I really liked it. I also tried out um, their new serum. So I have all these products here. I did pick up some new things. For example, I did have an eyeshadow palette that I did a video on and I was really, really impressed. So I went ahead and just got a, a different one and I think these colors are going to be really nice and I don't know really cool I did do a TikTok video so it kind of picked up the colors that I'm supposed to use and I'm only supposed to use three colors a year But I think I'm gonna cheat and just like put one more color in because you know TikTok is not that serious But yeah, I'm really excited. There's some other things here that I've never tried for example their um, sponge I did pick out the photo focus um, setting mist in coconut, which is a new um, just miss for me. I did have the cucumber one, but um, this one I'm really excited for because I love coconut. I have their lipstick, their concealer, and yeah, we're going to be testing all these products out together. All right, you guys, so I don't have like an eyeshadow base from Wet n Wild. I don't even know if they actually have one. So I'm going to start with their concealer. So I have this Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Beige. Actually, it's light medium beige this concealer is definitely new for me i did have a wet and wild one but it was definitely like longer packaging so when i saw this one at cvs i was really um intrigued so i'm gonna go ahead and use this one as a base today so i'm gonna be doing one eye at a time because i don't know how this is gonna work and normally oh it's actually a really nice base i would feel like i thought it was gonna be like super creamy and i was gonna say like i was gonna just set it with some powder but I don't think I'm actually going to have to. And now that I think about it, that is the only thing I don't have from them. It's a powder. I'm going to be using this little sponge from them. It's this Wet n Wild. It's a really pretty pink. And it has like a little flat space, which I think is really nice for like under your eyes. And it's really bouncy on the other side. So right now I have it just dry. I haven't put any water or wet it on you in any way. But I am going to do that when I have to put on my foundation probably. So I'm just setting this. And I feel like that was really nice. I didn't have a brow product from them, so I went ahead and did my brows. And also, I feel like brows are just so boring. Like, nobody wants to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow palette. And this one is Nude Awakening. And it's really cute. I love the colors in here, honestly. I feel like it's so nice. Oh, you opened it sideways. I thought it was, like, bottom to top. So here it is. Here are the colors. So the colors I'm supposed to use is this transition shade the number four which is a shimmer and then the black so i think i'm gonna have to add some other color in there but i'm gonna start with the transition which is this shade right here by the way on the back i feel like this is really helpful for people that are like beginners and if you do and if you find it hard to like mix up the colors it has all the numbers over here and it kind of tells you like different looks that you can do so i think that's really helpful i love that they do that with the transition and this one is like really um grayish just like a grayish brown and i'm just placing this right on the crease and just blending it out and guys are you seeing like how easy that blended like that literally took me two seconds not even i'm gonna just build it up a little bit more normally i wouldn't like this kind of like grayish colors on my eyes because i feel like it just looks I don't know it just looks weird on me but I feel like this color is actually really nice I don't know I feel like cool tones and my skin tone just don't mix well but I'm gonna just keep packing that on on my crease maybe I'll be able to do this look without another color even though I really want to put another color in there I don't know I think I'm gonna go for like this burgundy shade right here because I really cannot just like go from this to a black it's just gonna ruin the look and I'm gonna be pissed Okay, I'm gonna go right here. By the way, guys, like speaking of TikTok, who else is like obsessed with that app? Like I haven't done anything else during my quarantine that is not like learn a TikTok dance or just watch TikToks and just save them for when I can actually go outside and I can do them. I'm putting this right on my crease again and I'm gonna go ahead and go with the first shade one more time and just blend it out all together. I just had to ease my way into that black because, you know, we're not crazy here. I'm going to try to ruin the look. I'm going to take just a fluffy brush and I'm going with a transition shade and I'm just going to blend it out on the top so there's no messes. 
And I'm going to go ahead one more time with just a burgundy shade. I feel like this brush, after I wash it, it like, I don't know, it got ruined somehow. And it's like spreading the shadow on my eye. But we'll get through it. It's okay. Burgundy. I feel like on my eyes it's looking way darker than the burgundy I see on the palette. Am I crazy? It's actually, I think I like it. But it's definitely darker. Okay, now I'm jumping onto the black shade. And I'm going to be taking this one with an Anastasia brush just on the flat side. And I'm going to be packing this on right in the outer corner. Wow. Wow, that's black. I am like really picky with my blacks, guys. Like I want the black to actually be black. You know what I mean? Like, I want like the darkest black that I can get. So this is really exciting. I just switched it to the other side. And I'm just blending it in. And black usually like disappears a little bit when you do blend it, even even though that shade was like so intense. Um, it just takes a couple of, you know, a couple of times. And we're just gonna keep backing it on right there. I don't know if that concealer is like my favorite base because my eyes are looking just a little bit textury. Actually a lot textury. But maybe in the end it'll all look fine. Well, with a fluffy brush just to clean everything up. Taking number four, which is the number that I got from that TikTok. And I'm going to be just applying this right in the inner corner. We're going to go with the... I'm just placing this down. We are going to use a little bit of setting spray in a second. But I do want to see like how it does without it. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber priming water spraying a lot and I'm gonna go with the same shade and we're just gonna see what happens wow that smells amazing that smells so good oh my gosh I want the candle that smells like that I'm going with the black and really packing that on on the outer corner. Okay, so I thought I had bought an eyeliner, but um, it's actually a pencil, even though it said eyeliner. That's my bad. So this one is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner. So. This is how it looks like right there. I'm going to be using this. I haven't used an eyeliner in a long time, but I'm just going to kind of put it on. Like, I'm going to do an eyeliner without the wing, and then I'll see how I feel about it. Because I I don't know. Wings with pencils are just not my favorite, but I feel like this look needs it. This is really nice. I'm holding my eye just because I have a little bit of texture, and I feel like... The pencils like since it's not like a liquid product it will kind of like stop on this little cracks and it would just not look good and it's gonna just mess me up so okay so i feel like i do need some kind of wing so i might either try to do it with this or i might finish it with like an actual eyeliner i don't i haven't decided yet i'm just gonna put this right here so i'm just gonna be taking the black shade from the palette and taking a small brush, I'm just going to start like blending out the black right here. Actually, let me put a little bit of this. Okay, that's not working, so I'm going to put a little bit of this and then I'll try smoking it. Please work, please work, please work. Alright you guys, I feel like that is not bad. I like it. Honestly, I feel like the eyeliner is missing a little something there, but I'm just going to leave it there because I'm struggling. I am struggling with this pencil. So bad. So bad. But anyways, I'm going to do this eye. Um, I'm just going to fast forward it and we're going to get back to doing our face. And I feel like I'm pumped right now because I am home. I'm drinking some wine and I'm feeling good. All right, you guys, so the other eye is done. And now we're going to move on to primer. I'm going to be using this water drop primer. And you guys can see like how, many, how much I've been using this because this poor bottle. But this one is a cucumber one. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this.
I love it so much. I'm going to let that sink in a little bit just because I, my face feels a little bit wet right now. So I'm going to let it like, you know, soak it all in. This palette is like not something that I would have like picked out myself. Well, I did pick it out myself. You know what I mean? Like it's not something that I would have picked if I didn't have the other warm one. But I'm glad that I did. Like sometimes like those kind of palettes just really push you to do something different. And it looks good. I like it. Okay, so let's move on to foundation. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewis Foundation, like I mentioned, and this one I have in the shade Golden Beige. I'm going to take the bouncy side, and by the way, this got really big and fluffy, which I love. Something that really impresses me about this foundation is the coverage. I'm going to still put a little bit more on my cheeks just because I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. But, Jesus, this covers a lot and it looks like really good. I'm going to go and I'm going to put a little bit or a lot of it actually because I feel like one this one bring out enough product. Okay, so since I don't have like a loose powder, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And this one I have in the shade Caramel Toffee. This actually set everything pretty nicely. I feel like I need a little more on this side. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how everything looks. So right after, I'm going to be using this side as bronzer. And this side is really strong. Like you guys can see, like it's really pigmented. No, I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm not convinced. There you go. Okay, I know that the camera usually takes some bronzer off, so I put a ton. Um, the only thing I don't have, other than like a loose powder, is actually blush. I've never actually heard someone talk about wet and wild blush. Now that I, now that I think about it, it's probably why they didn't get one. So I'm just gonna use whatever I have here, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush. All right, there we go. I can't be without blush. So that's what's happening. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of um, highlighter and I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild I'm So Lit highlighter and it's a loose one. And it's just really beautiful. You don't need a lot of this. Like, do you guys see what is going on over here? Oh my gosh. I'm just literally taking like whatever is left on the lid. Oh, I think I went too far. Don't mind me. You can get really carried away with highlighter. But honestly, you never have enough. It's like sunny out today, so I'm gonna be taking a selfie in the sun. I want to shine. So now that I made that mess on my desk, we're gonna move on to the final step. It's gonna be lips. Oh no, wait, are underneath my eyes. What am I doing? Okay, going back to the eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna be taking this shade, the burgundy shade, and I think I'm gonna be mixing it with a transition shade. Taking this, going really close to the lash, 
and kind of connecting it with the wing. By the way, if you lose without looking up, it helps a lot to look up. So definitely try it. And then I'm going to go with this transition. And I'm just going to blend that. So now I'm going back onto that eyeliner that I was using for my eyes. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my waterline, both on the top and bottom to like really connect um, that eyelash to my mascara and I'm also going to put a little bit oh my god and I'm also putting a little bit underneath my eyes I think I went too far with the highlight today and I feel like I'm looking a little crazy so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of lipstick just because I feel like my eyes are just so smoky right now that I don't know I feel like maybe I need some more bronzer what is happening I'm going to be using this wet and wild lip liner in the shade um what shade is this don't really know but this is how it looks like right here it was like literally like two bucks and then for lipstick i'm using this mega last liquid cat suit high shine lipstick in the shade send nudes so yeah, i totally forgot about the primer i used the other one but it's fine because we kept it in brand but wow Okay, I can't get this like lip liner to actually work. So I'm just gonna have to press really hard. I did try to warm it up on the back of my head and it didn't work. Hopefully this little nude is like as like warm as I thought it looked. Oh yeah, it is. Well, wow, that's pretty. Okay, so this is the final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I didn't like scare you away with all the messes that I did make and all my highlight. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. All the products here are literally less than like five bucks, which is insane. I think the most expensive one are like these two, maybe. Or the highlighters, probably. But yeah, it's really inexpensive to use Wet n Wild products and they're honestly amazing. I mean, this look, I feel like, looks really nice. Um, the lashes are from ColourPop, if, you have, if you're wondering. And the mascara I use is from Essence. It is a false lashes, but everything else is Wet n Wild. And I really love this look. I actually, like, I feel like it got me out of my comfort zone, which I'm really happy with. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!